It's week 16 of the NFL. And coming up, we'll see the electric Kyler Murray. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Cards and the Panthers next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. And they come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. The Panthers head out for their initial drive, and at the helm is their second-year quarterback now, the number one overall pick from 2023, Bryce Young. And it'll be interesting to see pretty early in this one exactly where his head is because the best quarterbacks shake off performances like he had last week. Way too many okay, interceptions. Break. Didn't throw a touchdown pass. Team lost the game. Let's see if he can bounce back and get things going in the right direction. He'll be trying to forget those three picks, as you noted. Powering forward. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a, a spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. Ready. Ready. Now here's Young. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Xavier again. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is it a continuation of your college days? A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. You he know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that. Ooh. But he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. No gain on the play there. Second down. Oh, what? They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And some strong running. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. You look at this Carolina defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And the focus now is making sure that they're hitting on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs. And that means they've got to stop the run better. Because playoff football often means running football. So they've got to be prepared for that. On first and ten is Connor. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So from Panther territory now, it's first and ten at the 43. <laughs> Throwing now is Murray. Pass complete there to Harrison. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. Now Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Michael Wilson from 10 yards out. And the Cardinals are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Panthers' offense and Deontay Johnson set to take over again. And he's been filling up the stat sheet on a weekly basis. So to no one's surprise, his name sits near the top of the list in terms of most receptions by a wideout this season. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six. Come on, come on. Hey. Get up. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw, Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and ten. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And some room to work. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Connor. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Now Murray off play action. Out to his left. Throw left side caught by Ryman. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 45-yard line. Here's Murray. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Murray now to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw is Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Marvin Harrison, Jr., from 10 yards out, and the Cardinals have taken the lead. 
Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The slot man in motion right. Young working out of the gun. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This ball taken in here by Brooks. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here we go. Here's Young from the shotgun. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Garrett Williams. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. To throw, it's Murray. That's to the right side. He's got Ryman. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They're going for it. It's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Murray. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Murray now. He completes it to Wilson. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Murray going to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Prater's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense the firemen go out there guys and don't let them put some points on the board okay, Brandon, so we have reached halftime with a visiting cold, Cardinals out in front as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for, for Jonathan Coachman at so REA Sports Halftime Report Coach we'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey and it is the Jets who have the lead in that one Mike Williams a touchdown catch from Aaron Rodgers from there, we stay in the Empire State. We head up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Josh Allen with three touchdown passes. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Saquon Barkley's replacement, big shoes to fill. Devin Singletary, a touchdown there. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Each team making their final preparations for this second half. We're about ready, too, as we'll send you back up to Charlotte and rejoin Brandon and Charles at Bank of America Stadium.
And bulldozing his way through. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And just not enough on the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not Ooh. that time. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. I've got a good friend in football. Always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Young now. That one completes him again. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Young. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Out of the gun, it's Young. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Slot man moves right. Young escaping the pressure right and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole he'll get five out of the scramble it's second down and as they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter you're watching the NFL on EA Sports And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. Ready, ready. Young now from the 50. Open man is Uzama. First target, first catch, and a first down. Now Young. He'll find the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and three. Let's go. Young. Their 
there's a short one caught by Uzama. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Another shot from the one on second and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen there to make the grab. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. Second down and eight. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They'll run again. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And the Cardinals are going to have a first down. And that's a big one, as they should be able to run it out from here. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second Ooh. down play. Swim. Sit. Two, two. Connor up the middle. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I like it. I like the call. Still Ooh. an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Ooh. They'll try to run for it with Benson. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was right. up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Two, two, what? Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. Awesome. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through, and that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. 
This is first and ten. Seventy-nine Broncos. Huh. Young. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Ready, 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 hut! Go! Young to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked no. in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Well, throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Here we go, here we go. One last shot for Young. Buying time to his left. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your watches on east coast time. Every piece of information we got was east coast standard.